Hello, welcome back to Nicolai's Comic Corner. Classic Science 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 Class. This is episode 99. Next video is episode 100. And this is Triple Shot number 4. Forgot to mention this book. The villain is called uh, The Fury, who is no Marvel UK character. And the villain for this book was. Um, let's see if I can find his name. It's not Brand. No, she does show up in this arc, yes. It's some older guy they probably never heard of. It's some guy who basically just resurrects people. Yeah. Now, three books. A Science Channel X of Volume 7, 8, and 9. Uh, this book, uh, which is written by Danny Way, um, even, uh, let's see, it has issues 36, 37, 39, and 41. Uh, Nick Bradshaw writes um, issues 39 and 41. The first couple parts is uh, drawn by Jason Pierce, Pierce and Sam Pacelli. Um Oh, yeah, even has the classic uh, debut of Think Thing Boom. This basically deals with Monster Island. Now, I like Danny Way's writing. This book was good. Despite the change in art style uh, halfway through the arc, it's still really good. Basically, um, Armor has to go back to Japan uh, because mo because her mo because her mother because her mother and brother were killed, so she has to go home and uh, go home for a family funeral. And here's the thing: there's only four people in this arc: Cl Cyclops. Frost, Armor, and Wolverine. Storm is not in this arc, neither is Beast. Uh, that's because of Nation X, because Beast left the X-Men and joined Sword. This arc, despite the change in artwork, uh, half of this story, and the main bad guy for this story is... Um, Mitillo, yes. He, he, he's currently uh, basically part of Ames High Council. The book is called Monsters. Basically, it just basically deals with Monster Island, and I love the um, the art style. Based. Oh yes, it also begins with a wraparound cover for issue 36. Um, that's the only issue that does it. Um, I love these title things. I like these things. Basically, Monster Attack in Japan. Um, so the X Men go to Monster Island after defeating one of the monsters. They uh, take on Mentalo to feed him, and he's taken to custody, and that's it. Now, the Ghost Rider apparently shows up on these issues. I've looked at this thing. The Ghost Rider shows up in these issues, and basically, uh, Raxton is part of this book somewhat. They're in the background. Um, basically, despite the change, I like the artwork in here, despite it's changing. Um, I get this book a 9. Despite the fact it doesn't go like completely through, uh, despite the fact it skips some issues, but it's still good. All right, nine. Next up is Children of the Brood. This is volume eight. This collects issues 38, 40, 42, 43, and Kenny X Men 162. Now, 38, 40, and 42. That's written by Chris O's Gage. 49 uh, is read by James Amos. Now, even on the cover, it looks like she's wearing this outfit. That's actually a lie. She is not wearing the outfit at all. She's act now. This also deals with uh, debut of Brew. Um, for some reason, Kitty Pride is wearing this outfit. It's still pretty much the same outfit. They changed the helmet for some odd reason. Um, it's not the same artwork on the cover, it's different in the inside books, but it's dealing with the brood. Now, it, it does also contain uh, the classic X-Men tale, uh, written by, which is the debut of the brood from a Kenny X-162. But, this is really, really good. This is also basically a feature reunion of uh, Kitty Pride and Lockhead. This is the first time Kitty Pride has been in this series since, since the unstoppable arc and the lineup is on the cover Lockhead, Abigail Brand, Beast, Colossus, uh, Kitty Pride, and Storm. 
yeah, Storm is actually part of this arc, and she's back wearing an outfit that I like her wearing. Um, not... Let's see, where is she? Um, not this outfit. I didn't like this outfit at all. This outfit's better. Now, I don't mind the brood. It's been a while since I've seen the brood. Um, but this was really good. I get this book also a 9. Um, yeah. I have a good brand in this both, in this and, uh, Megacinic. This is Exalted, written by Greg Pak. This particular arc, and this arc, this arc was known for being the return to a monthly basis and no more delays. The delays stopped with this book. But with no more delays before or after this. Even after this book is finished. Um, basically, it's, a it's dealing with the Regenesis. Basically, the schism has already happened. And this is the schism. Uh, this is the Regenesis arc for Astonish and X-Men. And Cyclops is the star of this. Where it has ultimate versions of... debut of ultimate versions of Emma Frost, Katie Pride, Storm, uh, Nightcrawler... Uh, Wolverine and um, Professor Xavier, and this does happen in the book. Um, the other way is uh, also Storm. Uh, for some odd reason, Cyclops does not address uh, the fact that Storm is wearing a mohawk in this book for some odd reason. But the artwork is drawn beautifully. Though they don't explain after this book like what happened to Storm and uh, Shadow, who is the ultimate version of Kitty Pride, but uh, but this was really good. This is the best book of these three. I give this book a ten. Nothing gruesome. Oh, uh, this book uh, contains issues forty-four to forty-seven, and Matera from the Sion Shax from Ghost Box and One. Basically, it's Emily Frost's story. Plus, it also reveals that that uh, that version of Cyclops actually is dead. Yeah, killed by uh, Savior, who was an ultimate version of uh, Xavier. Let's see. Here he is. That's him. He's the villain. Basically, did a lot of reality jumping. I kind of like reality jumping. I like ultimate realities. This was good. Give this a 10. Alright. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be Double Shot 43. And episode 100. <laughs> All right. See you there. Bye.